gather round in the young chair town with your white or pink or purple or brown and listen to Dan Sinclair and Rolly Coley and I go and I, you know. Because right now I love not the house and, and a continual love is the greatest love, you know, without no itches. Saying bless up. Welcome guys, welcome once again to the Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes with myself, I'm Ruli Cooley, here in the beautiful land of Jamaica. Um, and I'm here right now with Guru Nile. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Happy New yourself, Year. Man. Maximum <laughs> respect. <laughs> Thank you. Cooley, you. Thank know? you. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a quick fire session now and um, some quick answers as well. Yeah. Okay. All right, so first question. What age did you get into music and who inspired you? My father, you know, my father named Dudley Dixon, otherwise, pretty shilling, you know. And by listening to the early URI music and with the music what he brought home from America when he went to farm work and his record player with his Frankie Natcha and all them, um, they are all our artists, them, you know, all our black artists, right. you know what I mean, and all sorts of artists, American artists mainly, you know. Okay. So therefore, that's for me getting to it. All right. Listening mm. to the radio and then start to dance early. Okay. 11 year old, start their dance and stay out all night. And, oh, you dear. know what I mean? A sound complaint over here, you know? Was you allowed to stay out all night at 11? No, when we come back, we get all beaten in about two. <laughs> it was love worth the music it, I bet. So much. Yeah, you know. It was worth it. Yeah. All right, good. So, if you could describe your music and how long you've been writing. Oh, I start right very early. From I start, I decide to start be a DJ. You know what I mean? I realized when I go and dance and when I go to dance also, I get a little chance with the mic and when me DJ when I you write lyrics, you know, our lyrics will say if I dance I ram, we have a ram it, if I dance I cock if I cock it. Mm. And I do say, I know your lyrics and from that I say to myself, so I don't want to talk no more man lyrics, I write all of my lyrics then. Right. Yeah, nice. but me so me and the DJ without even writing, it was writing in my brain, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was your gift. That yeah, is a you know, gift, just yes. create things and retain it, you know. Nice, nice. Okay, so what was the first single you've ever bought? Oh, uh, the first single I did is I think with after the Dodos incident in Kingston, the state of emergency is called the um the state of emergency says it was because of Dodo's expedition and the vibes of Tivoli it start the state of emergency. That's right. my first single, you know. That's your first single? Yeah. yeah. What about a single that you've bought of another artist? What was a, do you remember a first uh, single or album maybe you bought? Well, I never really, I was too poor to shopping for music and I always okay. get like, CD, I mean tape, cassette yeah, yeah. tape. All right. Well, I never really buy them now because he's a tactical man where could I get a CD. Uh, as, uh, um, what was your first record. cassette then? Well, my first cassette, I think, is uh, one of them Jack Ruby, the okay. Bob Culture, you know, and it was really enticing. So we get the Bob, um, and Papa Richie and Bob Culture. Them, you know? Okay, nice. Nicodemus, you know, with Very the nice. CD, yeah. All right. So what school did you attend and what are your happiest moments? Oh, I never really go to school now because all of the people, I, mean, I wouldn't even say I went to no school because all the so-called teachers were just abusers of I. Right. Seeing mistreated okay. me, so I don't want to big up any of them, say I, my All further right, schooling yes, came to a brother they called Dr. John Henry Clark and mm -hmm. Dr. Yusuf Benjamin, and I received a lot of private tutoring from them right. in America. Okay. Yeah, I was tutored by some of the master tutors, right. master teachers, Dr. John Henry Clark and Dr. Okay. Yusuf Benjamin. All right, nice. Yeah. Okay, so what's your favorite album by another artist? Well, I'm have to say... It's hard for you yeah, to really get an answer because I have so much favorite artists. All the original, like Slim Simit, okay. seeing I'm, I'm my top artist that then come down to Bob Marley as a mm. warrior under the camp, then mm -hmm. Burning Spear, my next artist. You know what I mean? So I say, them three, them that really say Burning Spear, Bob Marley, you know, Slim Simit, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Obviously, you DJ and um, you probably play on sounds as well. Do you DJ on sounds? Yeah, we have a sound right. in New York. Well, all right, we start off from Jamaica. All I'm looking at area sound, I'm at the top DJ, but all I look at sound now with area. Seeing, we have a sound called? named Flintstone. Okay. Seeing, we have a next little sound um, in our town now with um, Green Power. Okay. Then we're bridging now the lane man Dan, that uh, spider, you know, um, Lydal. My, I'm his resident DJ, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There are quite a few sounds. Then when we go to New York now, Third World now in my era yes. in the 90s, yeah. I have a sound named Third World International, you know, DJ Third World and, you know. But many times, you know, I never worry for going to dancing because the thing was so hectic. So yeah. much people are dead, but me, you know, tough in the area. Right. I'm always put my name on posters and sometimes I just say, 
world, I don't really want out that way. It was DJ in my area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay. All right. So, what artists would you like to work with? Well, I have to work with my bridge in Lone Ranger. Long Ranger. Yeah, yeah, because really, I'm really give me some mic all the while. I still have dance. dancer. Any dance, me and him going, say, Nile, say something, Guru, say something, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, I have it's to always say, involving you. Yeah, yeah. I'm the man where, you know, and teach me a couple of little craft and other thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what was the last event you played at? Oh, I was out by Wiki Waki Lawn, out by Bulby and St. Thomas. Okay. They had a, um, a session with quite a few other sounds Super Tone, Arrows, um, Emperor Fate. Okay. I, uh, Michael Fiat did call me for come DJ a female out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. It was a nice night. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So as an artist, what is the best moment that you can recall? You've probably got many, but if you could think of one. Uh, when I, well, the first time when I, when I um, went to a dance and Ranger bring me in officially, say, Niall, why you say, I'm going to take it and say, um, it bound sound come to really and truly throw you down and if you stand on your feet and don't fall because this musical dips come to you like a musical bouncing ball it was really, you know, because when we listen it afterwards, it's also and the amount of forward right away, you know. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. What's your top three favorite types of music, different kind of music? Well, I listen um, classical music, love okay. music and re roots reggae music. Now they um. Now the water don't reggae you know, and then the drop yeah, down great. pants reggae and the tattoo reggae, you know? <laughs> drop down pants. Yeah, we know about reggae. that in London. Everyone's yeah. got their pants down there. They say they're, they're the boss, <laughs> but they need to pull up the pants and stop showing their ass, you know? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> yeah, but I don't like them kind of water down mm. music where sort of disgrace Jamaica and disgrace the foundation of the right. music because reggae music is an intelligent force of music, you know? Yeah. It's a music where I rebel against a certain condition and explain how life supposed to be. So any music which is in, is in anti that, yeah. I don't embrace it. Okay, yeah. all right. So professionally, what is your goal? Well, my goal right now for us, do a whole heap of music and I don't really want to go up on a tour because I don't really like the cold places and I really like for us to sell a whole heap of music digitally, you know? <laughs> no, I, no, I don't really like overseas that much. All I, right. I don't want to seem like some guys you now who want to rule the music industry and say, mm -hmm. oh, you said this against the guy, he must have come of this country. A guy can't tell me them things then. It's like how somebody tell her about you, say, oh, you know, welcome there. So just him say, yo, go up, stay at my place and just do up a music and sell it digitally. Who yeah. like me buy my music? Who don't like me don't buy my music? But I don't want them for the people who don't like me. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. And I see the damage that them do to Bob Marley. So I think it was better yes. if he had quit and stay home with us and mm -hmm. just make them hear us yeah. or come to Jamaica or come to Africa because only so we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what other jobs have you done? So other than being oh, I'm a teacher, farmer, I know. You're a farmer. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like to plant my food and eat and plant a whole of herb too. Okay. So, in the ice grade, <laughs> these are the world most high grade, skillless high grade ganja farmer, I know. Right. So, right. In, and food farmer too. Cause, what kind know, of food you growing? Well, I grow. Uh, Bulb of vegetable mainly, you know, because you know, we have to eat electric food. Yes. Food that um, doesn't give you the mucus. Yes, See, yes. Food that removes the mucus out of your body. See, out of your goody. Mm -hmm. See, and keep you healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so, okay. you know, food are the staff for life and the food supposed to be a medicine. So, a guy plant film food, he for poison, he need for fertilizer, yes. and he for chemical. I yeah. don't like them food, so I'd rather for stay yeah. in my surrounding and put some dirt in some fridge and some compost heap and have my thing nice and my banana natural, my key in them natural, That's my nice. coconut natural. I wish natural. I could have that every day. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, so if you could go back in time, is there something you could think of that you think I would have done differently? Yeah, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't go and no farmer where they used to want to force me and call it school, you know? Yeah, okay. I would have started, um, as my mother always tell me, to read and study. I would be an avid reader earlier. But late, when I became an avid reader, being that I had the aptitude in me, that ability to learn, yeah. I, I able to cover a certain amount of things. I spent right. a lot of time in solitude by myself. Mm. And after reading the philosophy and the opinion of Marcus Garvey, I read it and then I, per I peruse it, carefully read and examine it, and then start have myself connected to so much information you know okay. that's the only thing i rather i didn't start earlier right. i got an insight guys by the way he's got a great collection of books 
amazing yeah, books. You know, yes. we have to have a library, very you know. nice, very nice. As members say, we start writing. When the rest of the world could not communicate in writing, we in ancient Kemet and yeah. Nubia, we were the persons who gave the world a concept of writing. Right. We communicate in writing when they were people who were living in caves. You mm, know, we are the mm. sepians of sepian, you know, right. they are the Homo erectus. There you I mean. go, you get a bit of knowledge there as well. Yeah. Okay, so if you had the power to make three changes in the music industry, what would that be? One well, of the things, when a guy comes about no music, he might have money up front, saying that means he pay you for him, pay you and don't rob you, because most of these European producers are something called hustlers, like they go to Africa for us, like anyway, the way they go, they go to mm. so you have to make sure you're on the thing tight and I vary the music business to the best sense that yeah. these so-called producers can't rip you off. Uh, you know, they are very much up on that, trying to also we do be bridging which try to contribute to the music. Because we want our music to expose to the bigger countries. We have millions of people. They take an ad a disadvantage of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, the songs that you've written and and what you've been writing. What are you most proud of that you've written? Uh, I have a song named um, Reggae is in my heart and my, and my head. You know, a big tune to release, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that tune, you know, is a tune where a tune I really love over all the other tunes because it explain a lot of things tonight, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you hear it in the near future, at yeah. all of the leading outlet, you will get something that is really splendid and informative and, you know, really entertaining. Nice. Seeing. Okay. Do you ever get nervous before performance? No, nah, man, I'm not nervous <laughs> because I graduate from about five or six public speaking classes. Wow. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I live in the country which was 124, which is 124 years of many countries yeah. that is in America, New York to be okay. in particular. Yeah. So I made sure I go to a lot of public speaking classes. Right. And Dr. Clark and Dr. Dr. Ben trained me to speak publicly. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have credit my master teachers, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then people like Carter G. Woodson with his book, Miss Education of the Negro. Yeah. So these things now open me up. And when I know the knowledge, I have the knowledge of my ancestry. I know how they are stark performers. Every other one are imitators of them. Right. I automatically galvanize myself that I don't get nervous. Okay. And I don't use alcohol or no form of thing to get me intoxicated. Yeah, to do you don't things. smoke and he doesn't drink. No, I'm not yeah, trying to keep nice. as healthy as possible, you know, to so live whilst, as long as yeah, possible. Sorry. Whilst performing, do you ever get a block? Like you forget your lyrics and how do you deal with that? Oh, you see, when everyone I go, has a style of covering go, up their mistakes. To, when I go to perform, yeah. I am so prepared, yeah. gear up myself. Uh -huh. So, you know what I mean? I was that was some I was waiting on that. You know, something that is prerequisited. Yeah. See, and so my my whole my whole self mm. is so prepared that I don't have no blackout. I don't know about no one else and I'm not you, Have you never had one? So you, no, you can never no, say... No, you see, remember one, one thing with me, I always uh, star in my zone and amongst wherever I go. Wherever I go, quickly people realize that this man is not an ordinary man in so The door open for me. If there's a sabotage, I just quickly rearrange my thinking, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, we are strategists. We came from people like Hannibal Lee. The yeah. military strategist, right. you know what I mean, Shaka Zulu, yeah. some great um, yeah. ancestry we come yes. from, you know. All right. Okay, so if you was to give a young person some kind of advice that looking to DJ or join the music industry, what advice would I you would give them? I would tell him that the first thing he need to do is enlighten himself, seeing mm. and behave himself. Right. and say sensible things. Don't take the microphone and talk a bunch of garbage, a lot, lot of unfounded things. And talk things that when people hear you talk, then they, sh they know that you're not guessing you don't learn things through chatticism, you learn things through in-depth research. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have some DJ who are really bright if you're on them associate, you know. Right, you see, yes. And if you listen to what them say, you see the sense now what them say. You have some next thing now after you start learning more, you see, say, oh, you ain't got nothing too tough. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Okay, so what should we and your fans and people out there expect from you in 2019? Oh, in the first six weeks, I will up um, my um, CD, them, my mute my songs, yep. getting for the market, and nice. I would like them to do something for me of buying them. Yeah, because I can't live without money. You know, <laughs> so them shopping from me, and I'm pretty, and I'm presenting quality music. Especially, I don't move away from the original music because mm. everybody wants to forget. The foundation music. Everybody wants to forget you or I, Big You, Lone Ranger, yes, yes. you know, yeah. Bob Marley and Burning Spear. Well, I want to connect myself like it's a baton, mm. and, the, and the baton is passed to me in a relay, and I continue with it. You know, I don't want to deviate and come with some 
some ice man music i want the sun people music yeah you see yeah. the ice people music or some imitation rhythm some water don't thing where them say oh this is the rhythm and it's reggae no and the guy know where they say him they give me reggae music theme mm -hmm. pop pop music yeah now, reggae music is not no pop music no, you know not. so no, chris blackwell not. and them type of thought yeah for go one side and you know even like the cocks my love him make sure him explain the thing up in england mm. how this thing are evil the difficult so we right. have to bring it across you know okay. so the original right. thing we are maintain when I water don't know. Okay. Other than your own sound, who's your favourite sound system? Well, but I have to say at the moment I still Emperor Fiat, you know. Okay. Seeing Why? Still, Mikey Fiat, because I see Emperor Fiat now, I have a style as a smart man. Mikey is a very smart man when I play music, seeing. And my brother, you know, we have a son, but him deceased, named Tighty, have a son named Green Power. Okay. Because he was a man. But the other son, they play just so my juggling son, and then they have a whole party brother about them, a DJ, they make pure nice yeah. in the dance. Yeah. I don't like those type yeah. of music. I yeah. don't even go out doing session there. Mm, Strictly mm. original music, me like, yeah. where we grew up on. Foundation. See? Foundation yes. music. Nice. Okay. So this question, um, if you just keep it brief, if he was the most powerful man, in Jamaica, so you're more powerful than a prime minister or anybody else up there in government, what three changes would you make in Jamaica? Oh, um, I try to convince the wrongdoer them to um, do what is right, saying stop being fools and stop fighting each other mm. because we are from the we have a commonality, we are from the same ethnic group. Yes. And um, after the abolition of slavery, I don't think so, <laughs> we should have no more thing against ourselves yeah. and make people taking us for clowns, see how we behave stupid and so we come from a place in the Middle East named Gaza and we want to do in a gully and yeah. the fight one kind of unnecessary fight. Mm. Fight black people, fight with one of people and while we're enemies doing what they want to do and Chinese taking over Jamaica. Yeah. See? Yeah. Because this is a thing where we are not I would also encourage the people to support their right economical agenda, their right, right. religious agenda yeah. and their right political agenda. Okay. Our, our African concept of government where mm. we go by the original African constitution and a copy of the original Af African constitution is in the destruction of of black civilization mm. by Chancellor Williams. So if they read they will see our original constitution that we black people will make life better for us. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my final question to you is um, what is your message to Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes and well, myself Don Sinclair Rulikuli, and Rulikuli, you know, continue, the works we're doing. Continue you know. doing your great work, man, and you know, always keep in touch with I and you know what I mean, see how best you can get your thing out there because, you know, you have a struggle because, you know, millionaire people, you know, mm -hmm. you have some people love the music. So just keep up the works, you know what I mean, and go in every nooks and corner and have some other youth who want you to come interview too because, you know, they're fortunate at the time to get someone off there, them leverage. If you um, interview them, seeing and to show more love and new so well, it's so all you can do possible for make the music spread in the nicks and chronics of the world, you know what I mean? Okay. And a safe journey, and you know, glad Thank to say, you. come on, Thank I'll you. keep coming, you know. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. All right, guys, so from behalf of myself, I'm Ruli Cooley and John Sinclair Reg Advice, Guru Nile, am I yes. saying it right? Guru Nile, G U R U. Okay, there we go. Space N -I -L -E. Thank you so much. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, I'm, to the, meet I'm you. like the River yeah. Nile and I'm 4,160. Oh, yes, miles, it's a long you know? Nile. And I've been there. It's yeah. a beautiful place. The Nile, you know? I've been that's, there. Where the, that's the first cultural area of civilization. Yes. You know? yes. See, the Nile, All right. the Nile Valley civilization. Okay. Guys, make sure you subscribe, tune in to this exclusive interview, and um, we'll see you next time.